Hey everyone, I'm Logan Nicholson, uh, this is Australian Astronomy. So this is a video uh, compilation of sort of a few random uh, mirror making videos I've taken. So um, uh, this is over both a 10 inch F3 mirror and I've just, I'm just beginning a 16 inch F3 mirror as well. So this is a sort of a bit of a mix up of videos through the rough grinding, hogging, uh, fine grinding and polishing process. So someday in the future I might make a video on actually figuring the telescope mirror but for now um, I have quite a lot of video uh, about actually grinding and polishing the mirror. So I hope you enjoy this video and um, yeah. So this is the 16 inch uh, meniscus slumped mirror so I'm just hugging it out to f3 because it was about one and a half millimeter short of the target so I'm using this uh, two and a half kilo weight to uh, just hog it out a little bit it's ground a little bit on this ring sort of area so it's a so it's basically a ring tool we'll take water Spray it on sort of 60 grit here, about half a tablespoon or so. Wet that down. Half, everything has to be wet, otherwise uh, the glass dust will come up, which, which can be very harmful. So I'm grinding it on my turntable, which is pretty messy because I've been grinding a fair amount of 60 grit so far on this with the 12 inch uh, grinding tool. Uh, so I will turn the machine on now and start hogging out. Okay, so this is how it goes. Uh, we're offsetting it a little bit because the ring tool, we want the edge of the ring tool to cross the center, a bit, a bit past the edge. Otherwise the action will be too concentrated. Probably just out a bit more. So here we go. So the 60 grit has mostly ground down now, so I need to recharge the grit by adding more uh, 60 grit onto it, a bit of a spray of water, and then it should be good to go again. The grit uh, obviously grinds down very fast with this metal tool, a lot faster than compared to the other, uh, compared to uh, grinding with the full size tool, because there's a lot smaller area, a lot higher pressure working on the mirror. So. Um, that's basically it. I have another about five millimeter of sag to, to go until this is at 8.3 mil sag, and then I can begin fine grinding. Well, first, I need to grind it to spherical because this sort of takes a divot out of the center. But then I'm good to go. So I'll, I'll either use 80 or 120 because I'm running out of 80 grit, and then 240, 25 micron, 9 micron, and then start pulling. So I've just started uh, grinding on 60 grit. I have five kilos of weight on the uh, meniscus mirror. This is a 400 millimeter, 16 inch blank. Um, and yeah, so I've just started to find uh, rough grind it at 60 grit. It's really loud. I'm making the 10 inch F3 telescope mirror on my homemade grinding machine using a half horsepower motor. I'm grinding with a 7 inch tall fixed post grinding with 5 kilograms of weight, about 30 RPMs. It's currently on 25 micron, and it's going well. So, um, that's, that's pretty much it. It's fixed post grinding, so I don't really have to do much. Um, ex 
except just add the grit and occasionally take off the old grits, but otherwise that's it. Here we are with the brushed pitch light. You can see those tiny facets that I've created. Pop that down, have my serum oxide. Give it a good shake to uh, bring all of the to mix all of the cerium up into the into a same consistency. Squirt a decent amount onto the mirror. I'm just wiping my hands off on my clean shirt in case any particles might have gotten onto the uh, sauce bottle. And now that lap, the surface might not be in the exact same shape as it as it needs to be, as, uh, sorry, as the mirror is, so the beauty of pitch is that it conforms while also being able to take on a polishing agent and polish the mirror. So as the mirror shape changes, it conforms, but only so much, so eventually you have to press the lap again, otherwise the action goes rough and the mirror uh, takes on zones. So this I'll do it for about 5 to 10 minutes, just pressing down, getting the lap in shape, ready for polishing. Hi all, so this is my routine before polishing. I've covered the mirror in cerium oxide at the moment, I'm using pretty thick cerium as you can see. I've attached it to the arm just to make it easier to um, swing the arm out of the way. And I'm pressing using the 5 kilograms on the pitch lap. So, I'll leave this for about 10-15 minutes and then I might uh, brush it up a bit more, maybe fix up the channels if they do need fixing, and then I'll start polishing. Okay, so here we are polishing the 10 inch F3 mirror. I'm running a 7.5 inch lap, the fixed post grinding machine. It's about how much offset I have. It's, I believe, 1.2 inches offset or so, running 20 RPM. I'm rotating the mirror every 5-10 minutes to avoid astigmatism, and at the moment I'm using very thick cerium oxide to polish out fast. So I'm running a Gugolt 63 pitch lap with 5 kilograms of weight on it. So this should take approximately 6 hours or so to polish out. Maybe a bit longer, but it's okay because I'm running the fixed post machine and I don't actually have to do any hand work. As you can see, the pitch lap is in good contact because the pitch lap rotates evenly along with the mirror. So, next step is figuring, but before that I have to polish it out. This is what the lap looks like. It needs a trim now. It's been 30 minutes of polishing. And about after 30 minutes is when the lap stops, it presses in so good that the little grooves created from the uh, brushing go away, and it needs, a, it needs a new brushing basically, so this shouldn't take long. I wasn't able to film the process of uh, brushing the pitch lap, but now I'm onto polishing, so you can hear that really high pitched squeal that's being emitted, that is actually from the pitch lap having such good contact that it makes a really loud noise. So I'm not exactly sure what causes that, but I know that's that means the polishing is really good at the moment. So I think when that noise dies down, that means it's time to brush the lap again. So see you then. So the mirror is now fully polished out and I'm beginning to figure the mirror. So at the moment, I am just deepening out the center for parabolization. So first we need to go format the pitch lap I'll be using. So, first, so I have seven and, seven and a half inch lap, five inch lap, four inch lap, and a two inch lap. So this one's for rough polishing out, and I might need it later for smoothing or bringing back from if I go too far. The 5 inch lap is the general use smoothing lap. The 4 inch lap is for taking down 
hills or parabolizing, rough parabolizing. And the two inch lap is for little tiny zones that might appear. So I'll take the four inch lap for rough parabolization. I have this cover, uh, sorry, brass brush, which if a particle comes off it, brass is softer than glass so it won't scratch the mirror. So what I need to do is simply brush the lap. This creates micro facets which help cerium oxide and air traverse through the pitch lap and makes the polishing action better.